Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. I am recording this video specially for gate aspirants of any stream and in this video we will be addressing a specific problem which may help you in your gate preparation. A number of times I have seen a group of students who are very regular in the class, in their preparation, they are working really hard but eventually they fail to get a good result in exam. So we really need to understand where they are failing, what mistake they are doing so that we do not repeat the same mistake. Well, whatever I am going to say is my personal opinion and it may differ from others. But in general, it will help to conquer the problem. I believe to overcome these kind of problems, the only solution is the following. Do not become a well-informed mind become a well-formed mind. What I mean to say here is your mind or you should not be an information collector. Rather you should be an information processor. Okay, So that whatever information you are getting right now, whatever preparation you are taking right now, your mind should process it and it should produce a good result which will be your gate rank. So it should not just try to map a given problem to an old problem which you had solved rather it should try to react properly towards a new problem the problems which are coming into uh, this gate examination are not always what you have already seen right obviously there will be some problem which will be just a replica of previous year question or some other problem which you must have already seen but most of the questions will be new or they at least try their best to present it in a new way. So you should have a good practice so that you can react towards those new problems. Now the question is how to prepare your mind for these kind of things like how to prepare your mind so that it can react towards new problem. So here's the thing which you should do to overcome these kind of issues. So the first one is do not mug up the old practice the new. So please do not mug up the previous year questions and their solution. I mean if you are lucky you may get some problem, similar problem or the same problem but most of the time it will be different and it creates another problem. You know what, when you are, when you see a problem and if you identify okay this is a question which was asked in some, some year so then you know the answer and you can directly, you will directly go to the options and you will take an answer but you may not bother to check if the data has been changed right so you have to be sure and you have to solve the problem before you go for choosing an option so do not just mug up the previous year problem try to solve problem with to improve your analytical approach to improve your problem solving skills learn how to approach towards a problem do not focus on solving too many problems okay try to focus or try to solve good quality question and try to solve a question which can clear your concept. So in each topic try to find out two or three problems okay, and mark it so that you can use later on for, revi for revision purpose and on each topic you should form a mechanism, uh, steps which you have to follow if some question comes from that particular topic. I mean obviously for each topic you can find out some mechanism which is always followed in solving questions. Well now this is another important point. Be smart too. Hard work is not enough. Analyzing the syllabus is very important. Try to understand the pattern on which question is being asked from last 10 years. You can obviously find out few important subjects from where questions are the number of questions are greater than the other subjects so you need to dedicate your time accordingly and yes do not ignore mathematics and aptitude mathematics and aptitude together contributes 30 marks which is five more than the marks which you need to qualify the gate examination so this 30 marks are going to make a huge difference in your gate rank okay and this aptitude part specially it's very easy and even numerical part from this aptitude is it is it is going to decide your rank basically I would say 
सो ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन दीज पार्ट ऑल्सो ओके मैथमेटिक्स एंड एप्टीट्यूड डोंट इग्नोर दैम एंड दिस इज माई लास्ट पॉइंट रिवाइज टू होल्ड द थिंग्स टूगेदर इन योर माइंड ह्यूमन माइंड्स आर डिजाइन टू फॉरगेट द थिंग्स फीचर ऑफ लेस इम्पॉर्टेंस इवन आर कंप्यूटर्स दे कीप ओनली इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच दे आर प्रोसेसिंग इन द रैम रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स दे पुश इन टू डिस्क सिमिलरली वॉट वी डू वी मेक नोट्स राइट सो दिस इज आर डिस्क एंड दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क वी हैव टू कीप थिंग्स इन आवर माइंड ओके सो दिस विल ओनली कम इन टू योर माइंड इफ यू कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग ओके सो कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग अंटिल इट बिकम्स योर हैबिट सो यू टू हैव टू कीप द थिंग्स इन योर रैम दैट इज योर माइंड सो रिविजन विल बी योर फ्रेंड हियर एंड फॉर दैट मेक शॉर्ट नोट्स कीप रिवाइजिंग योर नोट्स मेक स्टिकी नोट्स पेस्ट पोस्टर्स ऑन योर वॉल ओके डू ऑल द क्रेजी थिंग्स विच यू वॉन्ट टू डू ओके डोंट थिंक अबाउट अदर्स वॉट अदर आर थिंकिंग वॉट अदर पीपल आर टॉकिंग ओके द पीपल हु मे बी लाफिंग एट यू टूडे और मे बी मेकिंग फन ऑफ यू और योर एटीट्यूड टूडे विल बी गिविंग योर एग्जाम्पल टूमोरो देर इज अ कोट विच आई वॉन्ट टू रिपीट हियर वर्क हार्ड टू गेट वॉट यू लाइक और यू विल बी फोर्स टू लाइक वॉट यू गेट सो कीप योर ड्रीम अलाइव इन साइड यू वर्क हार्ड टू स्नैच इट एंड मेक इट रियालिटी विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट गुड लक